front of the cart. Oh, first, I need you to come over to the bleachers, grab a pre-post assessment and a pencil, and take a seat. The only thing that you should have on your paper is the heading. Your name, the class period, and your PE teacher's name. Does everybody understand where they are going? So you're picking which level you think you're on? Yeah. And once you pick the level, what do you have to do? You have to describe what we can do and explain why you chose the why level. Doing Our techniques. So perfect. We have two extension skills on our throwing and catching. Did anybody catch him when we read the, no pun intended, anybody hear those two extension skills? Uh, in our objective, we have two extension skills. Go ahead. One of them. So we have hitting a target. All right, that's one of our extension skills. What's the other one, Alan? to a receiver in motion and it's thrown in front of the receiver so they can run onto it and keep their momentum going okay so today we're going to use we're going to work on lead passing so we can use it in game play why is it important to lead pass yes um so like you can <laughs> so you can like play the actual game you're right so when you want to move forward in a game right you want to move towards the end zone in ultimate frisbee it could be towards, in soccer, you're moving towards a goal. In football, you're move, moving towards that end zone. In order to do that, you need to lead pass so you can move uh -huh. up the field. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you. 
What is it? What? What's cooperation look like? Working together. Cooperation How? is working together without arguing or, well, without arguing, trying to work it together and not go separate ways and not split up. Now, how do you cooperate with that, like, compass thing? Like, what are you going to have to do? Like, to work together with the compass. Because he wasn't here last time. Like, okay. to work together with the compass. Don't fight. Go, don't go. No, don't go this way. Don't go that mm -hmm. way. Just follow. It. Like I said, keep Red Fred in the shed, which mm -hmm. is the little red arrows in the shed. Mm -hmm. Like, what they call it? Cool. Thank you. No, it has to be. Yeah, it's lined up with 20. It has to be, like, 14 or something. Because it's, that's 20. North is 10. So there has to be 15. Yeah, 15. Yeah. Wait, what? He said we're a little off. Uh, yeah. Wait, so try this way. Wait, this way. We gotta match up with the center point. Come so right here. It's a 19. Set, so this paper right here, right here, this is the school, so right there, so what we do is we like, so like, since we're going to 19, we gotta see what it is, and we, we have to back turn, there, we have so to use the paper like to turn this way, to show the school that way, so we would have to go from 18 all the way over there, and we use the compass when we get there, we'd match up from this cone to this cone, and we point the arrow on the compass to it, and whatever number is lined up with the arrow, that's what number we write on the